Hey guys, so as promised, I am bringing you a video about how to create a um, magazine art journal for the purpose of using in Bible journaling. Zoom out just a little bit here so we can make sure we can see everything. Okay, now that we got the camera situated, here we go. Alright, so a couple of people have mentioned that they wanted to do Bible journaling and they can't afford a journal and Bible right now, and that's okay. Um, some people may not be ready to invest in a Bible journal um, or a Bible for journaling because some of those can be expensive. But I wanted to show you a couple of other options that you can do for really, really cheap. And also, if in case you're not ready to start in an actual Bible, um, these are some other things that you can do. So the first thing that you can do is just grab any old book. Um, you can get books at um, thrift stores, Goodwills, anywhere like that. You can get old books for usually a dollar or less. You can go to the Dollar Tree and pick up a book for one dollar. It doesn't matter about the contents of the book because you're going to cover all that stuff up anyway. So just any old book you can use to do Bible journaling. You will need to tear out some pages out of the book um, just so that you've got room for the new stuff that you put down, but that's easy. It doesn't mess up anything doing that. Here is another book that I picked up. This was um, a 2011 Daily Guide Post, and it has the feel of a Bible, but again, it's not an actual Bible. So this is something that you can use to do Bible journaling on. One thing that's really cool about this is that it gives you a verse for the day and a little um, devotion. You could read this and get inspiration for your verse of the day or something like that. Try to do the verse that's on here. Figure out a way to Bible journal that so that you can meditate on the scripture for the day. That's an idea. Um, but today we are going to create a magazine journal that you can glue in, you can paint in, whatever. Um, I, this idea is not my own idea it is as far as using it for Bible journaling, but the process of putting the magazines together I actually seen from another video, and I will copy that link below so that you can see the original one. But this is a magazine journal that I had made several years ago. All it is is it was a um, Southern Living magazine, okay? And all I did was I had cut it down to size. I had made it smaller than it was originally. And then I just took the pages, like this was a full page, and folded it in half. So I went to the middle of my journal. I had tore some of the pages out because there was too many pages. I went to the middle of my journal, and I, for this side, I folded all the pages this way. Does that make sense? So the page folded out to here, and I folded it in here. All of them on this half of the book were open this way, and I folded them this way. Okay, and so then I just reinforced the spine with some tape and I got this little journal that I can paint in, doodle in, whatever. So if you use these pages, you do not have to cover them up with anything, any kind of paint or gesso or anything in order to use it. You can simply take um, new magazine clippings. Let me set this down here out of the way. These are some magazine clippings that I have clipped out of another magazine. Okay, so let me just show you. You can simply take some magazine clippings that you find, that you like, images, words, whatever, and use a glue stick and just glue them down in the paper. No problem. And simply make it look like a collage, okay? Or, if you're going to want to actually work on the page, you can gesso it. So this is gesso, um, and it actually covers the page up somewhat so that you've got a blank surface. Now, if I wanted this to be an absolutely white page, I would need to do more than one coat. But for what I needed it for... This was it. I actually wanted to paint on here, so one layer of gesso would make these magazine pages so that I could paint. The key is, though, whenever you're working, is you take a piece of wax paper, so pretend this envelope is a piece of wax paper, and you're going to want to tuck it in behind the page that you're working on so that it doesn't soak through to this page and you don't have a messy, sticky, icky mess, okay? So this is a page I've not yet done in here. I've got some pages toward the middle. Let me find some that I have actually done... And painted and again this does not have to be anything fancy where's my pages um hang on let me find them I know they're in here got one that I painted somewhere well fooey guys I promise there's some in here I 
should have marked it, huh, before I started. Well, anyway. There are pages in here somewhere. That I have painted and just went from there. Let me move it over here and see if I can flip through it. There it is. I knew it was one in here. So this is one that I had gessoed. And this is, I just used paint. And this was just simply that day. I was having a bad day and I felt like I was drowning. And so I simply put, when I think I'm going under, calm the water lord. So, you know, this is something that you can do. You can decorate this just like a junk journal. You can put down, you know, embellishments and glue things. Whatever you want to do. This didn't cost me anything. This was just a magazine that I had laying around my house. Now, if you're one that you don't get magazine subscriptions and you need magazines, a lot of thrift stores sell, <clears throat> excuse me, magazines for like 10 cent, a quarter, 50 cent, whatever, and you can just go pick up some. Or you can ask family members if they've got some. I'm sure somebody has some. Even sometimes local libraries have them and they will put them in a donation place whenever they've expired so that people can grab them. So that's a couple of ideas. Okay, so let's get started. These are some that I had ripped other things out of. They've been torn out of, cut out of, all that good stuff. So the pages have been thinned down a little bit. Um, in the original video where I seen this, she recommended taking the front covers off to attach them together. I am not going to take the front cover off of this good housekeeping because I like this page that flips out. I am going to glue the second magazine just directly to this page. Now, for this one, I did go ahead and tear that thicker back page off because I'm going to adhere this page on top of this cover, okay? Now, she in her video had used a glue stick. Um, you can use whatever you've got on hand. You can use double-sided tape. This is mono liquid glue. I'm actually going to use this three-in-one glue because it's not as wet and it doesn't make the pages wrinkle as much. So I'm just going to... This doesn't have to be perfect. I would kind of get close to the edges because we do want for this to go all together. Close to the edges. I think I got enough glue on here. Stick my top back on. Now I'm going to simply line it up. Another key thing to think about when you're doing this is that the magazines do need to be very close to the same size, okay? Okay, so I got my spine lined up. I've got the top and the bottom lined up. Now I'm simply going to Rub it down, rub it down, rub it down. Now, I have cut out of this top page, but it's no big deal. I can stick other things on here and make it thicker. So I'm going to open it up to the page that I glued together. Here we are. I'll make sure I got it all glued together. And see, I didn't do it too well, so I'm glad I opened it up. all my pages down. Okay. Now, I failed to mention in the beginning, too, that you can take some duct tape and put together here. I failed to get that before I started the video, so I'm not, I'm not going to do that part. But you would just get some kind of decorative duct tape or some kind of pretty tape, and you would put here along the edge in order to reinforce it, okay? So I will have to post a picture of it once I actually do that to mine because I don't have any right now. I failed to pick up some. So then you just want to fold some of the pages back. Okay. In order to make that spine not twist. And I've learned this little secret from that video that I'm going to link below. I like these little pages that flip out like this. This is really cool that I can do things on. Okay, if there's pages in here that you don't like, or like this one, I've tore this one up a good bit. I'm just going to tear that page out because we want for it, I don't want it behind in my magazine either, so I'm going to rip that out. So any pages as I flip through here that I have cut or torn, like this one I've tore out of, I'm just going to rip it right out.
because we don't want all of the pages in the magazine. It's just going to be too thick when we start adding stuff in. I am going to leave this little page here that's kind of got half of it tore off because I think that would be a cool page if I did something underneath and made it to where it was kind of had a twofold meaning. So we're going to leave that one out. I'm going to take this one. And again, I have already went through this magazine and clipped out images that I wanted to keep or that I thought that I can use. But like, for example, this particular image here, it's already got a really cool background. This is really cool. So I could just come in and cover up the person. I could leave some of this black exposed. Um, I am going to be doing some videos so that you can see how that you can use this. I think this is just a cool way that you can do cheap art. And you don't have to have expensive stuff in order to be able to do Bible journaling. You can go to um, a Dollar Tree or a local dollar store. Dollar Trees carry glues and some paints at times. Um, and even Walmart, you can get a tube of paint for like 50 cents, 60 cents. Water it down a little bit and use it. Okay, so there is my magazine piece. And again, I will take this and reinforce it. And I'll try to do some videos working in this so that you guys can see how that you can use this. Um, but this is a way that you can do Bible journaling for cheap. These were two magazines that I had around the house, like I said, and it didn't cost me anything to do this. Now I have got something that I can work in, and whenever it's finished, I'll have something really cool to show. All right, guys, have a good one.